Need a game suggestion? Donkey just put out this masterpiece. Maybe you'll convince me on a video game. Rainbow 2021 was bull. The only game was SpongeBob. We are really feeling the effects of COVID on the game industry now. I think efficiency is destroyed, morale is crushed, games that would have been great were good, and games that would have been good were bad. Back for Blood was supposed to be Left 4 Dead 3, but really it was more like Saints Row 1, where the best part of the game is spawn killing each other in the pre-game lap. Persona me. Strikers was yeah, alright, but me then it and dawned on me that I should just beat the real Persona instead. The Returnal kept come returning come. me to the Lola start of the you fucking some game some. by crashing or doing an update. Deathloop had funny kicking, but I got a couple more loops out of Loop Hero, where you horse race skeletons. <laughs> Pokemon yeah. Unite made League of Legends look like a masterpiece. Hot came up with a battle Five chest 32. so good it should be on the battle chest. Prop Knight is a terribly designed game, but it's kind of funny. SpongeBob added Garfield, but you can't play as him on Monday. Call of Duty's 40 player matches felt like 700 players, and Battlefield's 130 player matches felt like 7 players. The two best games that aren't on my list this year are Deltarune and play Halo with this They're bussy. both free, they're both a lot of fun, but they both said to me, come back in 10 years. When these games are finished, then I'll put them on the list. Number 15, bang! That's not even a game, that's not even anything. That's just me making a noise. You gotta stay on your toes this year. Number 14, way Okay, Ratchet and Clank. This was a lot like a modern Pixar movie where while it's happening, it's a lot of fun. But the Go second it's over, you forget like it Sekiro, happened. Go out Neo and to touch some fucking so grass. Fun this you. review was and awful. You die so fun Enough for said. Us. That's a comment from my Ratchet and Clank review by Vincent Rivet Lover. Rivet is the girl Lombax they invented for this game. For Monster Hunter Rise, they put in a grapple hook. And a doggy. Many motorways you draw little roads so the car can go to their job and go beep beep traffic jam, build a highway to go over the roundabout. Oh shit, you died. I played a lot of Metroids this year because I'm one of the realest gamers of all time. Metroid Dread was like third place or something. Buttery smooth controls, fun power-ups, beautiful environments, and some of the most intense boss fights in the history of the series. But it also makes a lot of the same mistakes that Samus Returns did. And the robots are a fucking dickhead. Marlo's Golf <laughs> is mechanically identical to Hotshot's Golf for the PS1, but with online multiplayer, Golf is the perfect game for Nintendo netcode because it doesn't require good netcode at all to work. You can uh -huh. be Wiggler golfing on New Donk City, okay? It's not a very ambitious game, but it's a lot of fun. What? 2D beat-em-ups are dead. The last 2D beat-em-up to come out was Castle Crashers. That game is 13 years old. Streets of Rage 4 is out here acting like the competition is still fierce. Wall bouncing dudes off the edge of the screen, racking up 100 hit combos with funky ass electronic music egging you out. So many enemies, so many playable characters. You can throw weapons at people and they'll bounce back into your hand. You can play as a kangaroo. No. Psychonauts 2 has been in the world for so long, I think people forgot that they funded it. It's not as polished or snappy as Ratchet and Clank, but it tells a smarter, more creative story. A story about minds that engages the mind and gets in your head. There's a dentist level, there's a Disneyland level, there's a Shenmue level of questions being asked. What are you doing out here? Can I ask you about your family? Can everyone in the pool family talk to animals? What can you tell me about Compton Group? Are you worried about Maligula? I have some questions about pancakes. Why didn't you just go order some pancakes at the cafeteria? What's your recipe? What sort of substitutions? Can I have a pancake? Where'd you learn how to make pancakes? Prison. <laughs> Resident Eagle. Hey, hey, hey. Game is dumb as shit. A big booby lady chases you around a castle. There's a fish man and an evil puppet and a fat guy sells you landmines to go fishing. Bingo. It's not the scariest Resident Evil until it decides to be the scariest Resident Evil ever. <laughs> Fuck it. Death Stranding. There oh, is nobody man. more outspoken about their hatred of Death Stranding than me. But at the same time, there is also nobody who has played Death Stranding more than me.
Inscription. Ooh. This is a spooky Halloween deck building game that you play in a dark cabin with a serial killer. On top of being a fun card game, it's also an escape room game. And then on top of that, I'm not even going to say, but just know that this game gets crazy. Guilty Gear Strive was my most played game this year. I threw a lot, a lot of dolphins out there. If I didn't touch this game for 10 years, I could probably pick up a controller and start pulling out made combos from muscle memory. Guilty Gear has great gameplay, but the gameplay is just something you do while listening to the soundtrack. When Shipman 1 came out, that game had one level. When Shipman 2 came out, that game had two levels. When Shipman 3 levels, but by combining all three Hitmans, now you have 21 levels. I'm talking to you, sir. You're talking to me? Step into step into my office. <laughs> Monstrous in scope, but also meticulously detailed. Spaghetti, 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 throw! In Mario, you need a hundred coins to get an extra life, right? But in Hitman, you only need one coin to kill a hundred people. Yeah, that's not a peak, so shoot me. All right. I'm about to hit you guys with one of the biggest plot twists of all time. When I was a little kid, my favorite type of game was RPGs, because those were the only games easy enough for me to actually beat. Dragon's Quest XI is a game that takes me back in time. Back no. to the time RPGs weren't embarrassing cash grabs for weirdos. It doesn't have aloof fashion uh, models or Chronicles, dude. commentary or convoluted combat systems. Yeah, listen. Xeno, or Xenoblade Chronicles 2, at least, is... Uh the longest tutorial I've ever played. That's because Dragon Quest delivers where it actually counts. Fun storylines and goofy characters. Eh. 3D platformers Music kills back. me. Ukulele, Fall Guys, Sackboy, Hat in Time, Spyro, Crash 4, Astro Bot, Fresh and Frank, Psycho Dice, they're making the 3D Kirby, they're doing an open world Sonic, but there was one platformer this year that stood above all others. I'm talking about Balan Wonderland, of course. Dancing one. section. Huh. You call it the wrong name, you big dude. <laughs> Isn't it Wonder World, not Wonderland? Of all others, <laughs> I'm <laughs> talking about Balan guess he's, Wonderland. I guess he's used to. Do, I guess he's known for doing section. that. But really, I'm talking about it takes two. I cannot believe that the funny guy from Game Awards actually made a game this good. This is gonna be awesome. Me and Leah had so much fun playing this game, we were just continually floored by how much different stuff this game has. Now do it right, don't kill me. There, that's the right way. No, 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 yes, yes. There's so many fun ideas, but really it's the mini games that end up stealing the show. Do not put the money in the pig. This is for the frog. <laughs> now, frog. Kill Leah. <laughs> Get down from there, creep. Leah. He doesn't listen to that kind of stuff. He's gonna kill you for that. <laughs> I have a very simple method for picking the best game of any year, and that method is, if a 3D Mario game came out that year, that was the best game. Bowser's Fury is not only the best game of 2021, but it comes with the best game of 2013. The Mario motherfuckers have done it again. This is a team that cannot be touched or seen because they operate on a different planet than us. Comparing Mario to other video games is like comparing me to a fucking content creator. Bowser's Fury is a real ass video game in an age of fake ass gamers. But Mario Brothers 2 just a little bit better. Spell his name right. I learned nothing, but that was a good video.